Okay, Alan, can you tell us what is bike fitting? Okay, so bike fitting is adjusting the bike or the rider to suit the sport. Okay, in layman's term, bike fit is actually adjusting the bike to suit the rider. Uh, saddle height, uh, saddle front, back, saddle tube. Okay, so and uh, a lot more uh, adjustments. Uh. How did bike fit actually come about? Okay, so bike fit was. Uh, by a group of uh, uh, medical people, it could be uh, physio doctors, people who are in sports uh, or into cycling. They decided that uh, there must be a parameter, <clears throat> what angle the knee and everything to make cycling safe, uh, just like furniture, uh, ergonomics. This group of people who study furniture and study human biomechanics decided that, oh, okay, how the chair should be done so you can have a lumbar support, how the chair is designed. All this, you have special group of people who decide bike fit should be this way. Of course, they are more highly qualified than uh, any of us, any bike fitter out there because they are most likely PhD doctors that study a lot about biomechanics of the human being and the bicycle. Then you come up with a education system called bike fit. Um, so in short, bike fit is to prevent injuries, make you more comfortable, make you able to enjoy cycling uh, for the longest time. Yeah. So, so you mean that cycling itself is actually not a safe sport? Any sport that is uh, repetitional and you do all the time, is not good. Uh, that's why pros, they have cross training. They do stretching, they do uh, strength conditioning. You cannot just stick to one sport and uh, and uh, don't get injury because it's repetition. So we are not designed to cycle, to sit on a bicycle, but because we like, and somebody designed a bicycle, so this group of people decided, okay, we like cycling, how to make it better. Um, so that's why, um, that's how Bike Fit came about. Bike Fit has not been uh, around for 100 years. It's only recent, maybe the last 50, 40 years, then it become popular because People are more serious into the sport. They decided, okay, there must be some formula we need to follow, parameters uh, that is safe. When you cook, right, you need some recipe, right? You don't just anyhow salt, la, pepper, la, flour. La. No. So same goes for uh, bike fit. It's an orchestra, we call it orchestra. So the human body must work together, all the muscles to work together, and with the bicycle uh, adjusted to suit the sport. So if you are very flexible, you are very strong, but your bicycle scanner setup is wrong, you won't go very far also. Um, but if the bicycle is correct, but you have problem in your body, problem like what? Posture. I see a lot of clients who has uh, internal rotation. So roll in shoulders, tight chest, uh, the shoulders roll in, a very weak upper back. Then they complain neck pain, trap pain. Why? Because they do this a whole day. So have you heard of uh, sitting can kill you? Yeah, so they sit too much. Yeah, so we're going to Google. There's uh, a lot of write up. When you sit too much, what will happen? Is it good? It's no good. Even the latest uh, watches, the smartwatch will tell you, hey, one hour, walk, walk, walk. So you have to get out and walk. And what, what shows you? It shows you that sitting too much is no good. We are looking for ways to make the sports uh, more safe, more comfortable. Let's say my body is already been you know, adjusted to my daily life in, in some way. And so if I bring all these uh, existing issues and come to cycling, how will fitting actually help me with all these existing issues? So to answer your question is, is very simple. Uh, actually, there's more. Like, I like to use layman term. So let's say we talk about a golfer. He won't do two directions. Uh. He only do one. Same as a tennis player. If he's right-hander, he will play right hand. He won't play left hand, right hand. So if you do swing here, or you play tennis here, you have a, <clears throat> a right shoulder internal rotation, a right hip. So this person, let's say he doesn't do anything. He comes into cycling. He has a rotated hip, rotated upper body. Do you feel, hey, one of my hand is uh, numb, and one of my leg overwork. So he doesn't know why. So that's why my feet has posture assessment. In short to say, <clears throat> we are fitting a person who is not symmetrical to a symmetrical bike. 
And that's the challenge of Bike Fit. Uh, Bike Fit is talking about how you're going to fix all this. Is we call problem solving. Uh, every case is different. Every person you see is different. It could be leg length difference, rotator hip, tight hamstring, tight quads, tight calf, weak upper back. Uh, all the inherited problem that they come and say, I don't feel comfortable on my bike. Uh, why? Uh? So that's bike fit. That's what bike fit is. Uh, is to fix all these problems and, and educate them that it can be fixed. Of course, very, very serious case, we will refer them to physio and doctors. But generally, a lot of us has posture issue. Let's talk about hands. Okay, internal rotation sometimes affect your hand placement, your palm. So some, some people, you look around, they, they stand this way. So this is a classic internal rotation. Means the, the whole arm, the whole back do this. And this is not good for the posture. So what you want is a, a neutral posture, the palm face this way. Yeah, but of course there are other ways to look at the posture. You can talk about side view. He say, hey, I got a lot of pain. Eh. How, I, why I ride my bike? But his body is like that. So do you adjust the bike or adjust him first? Because you talk about him first. You have a problem. Your bike I can fix, but the problem is still here. So you need to teach him how to fix this. We call this poke head syndrome. Oh, do this and do this. Then you talk about the bicycle. Yeah, so that's why bike fit is very complex. Uh, yes, you can learn on uh, YouTube, you can learn on uh, a lot of journal, but uh, sometimes they give you only half the solution because there's only so much you can write. Um, as you, like, like me, I'm a professional bike fitter. Uh, I'm also a, a personal trainer uh, into rehab. So I learn all this in my 28 years of uh, personal training and uh, rehab and use this to bite feed people. That's why bite feed has posture assessment. So once your posture assessment is very good and you know to fix all these posture issues, most of the time the bite feed will be a lot better because there's only so much you can change on the bike. Mainly it's the person. Yeah, like some people, the glutes are not engaged. They they are like 30 years old, their goods are like 50 years old, you know, like very soft. So you know something is wrong. He's not engaging his glutes at all. So how are you going to teach him to engage his glutes? You can't adjust the bicycle to, to do more. You have to change him. Uh, so that's why we always say it's, a, it's an orchestra. It needs the rider and the bicycle to work together. So what does bike fit actually bring to the rider? So bike fit actually gives comfort, uh, prevent injuries, uh, optimize the performance. Uh, these are the three key. There are others, but I think this is the most important. Uh, most of my customer come to me is they want comfort. The number one thing is comfort. Uh, they have a lot, a lot of issue. The number one thing is I want to be comfortable. Of course, then when you're comfortable, you can go faster. Then you talk about performance. So when you talk about comfort, uh, let's say uh, you are like leisure cyclist. I just ride for one hour to two hour each time. Um, would that would the bike fit actually benefit me as well? Uh, yes. Okay. So bike fit actually benefit anyone. Could be a kid also. So we just talk about a classic case. Uh, a client came to me. I have to raise up the saddle. Nine cm. So he tell me I only ride on the weekend. Um, but 9 cm is a lot. Will, will he get injured? Yes. Even, uh, I will say half an hour, he'll get injured already. I, I stop wasting time adjusting 1 cm. Straight away, I go 3 cm, 3 cm, 3 cm. Then from there, I get his actual suitable uh, saddle height. So it's, it's quite serious. Uh, he, he doesn't know. Like a lot of people say, I feel good, I don't need a bike fit. Uh, feelings can be wrong. Uh, that's why we need science and data to back us up. Uh, that's what uh, bike fit is all about. Yes, of course you knew, you use a journal meter like this. Yeah, you can do a bike fit. Yeah, anyone can do a bike fit. Uh, but you need to know what's the range we have. And when you do this, um, it's a two D means uh, it's a static. The the person pedal you can't you can't. So that's where the computer uh, kicks in. But yes, uh, you benefit anyone except. People who say, I go downstairs, buy bread, then come back, uh, then maybe no need. Yeah. Why is bike fit important? Okay, so you have to ask yourself, why do you pick up cycling? 
you pick up cycling to be healthy. That is 99% of my clients. So to be healthy is to be safe. To be safe means you must make sure you don't get injured. It's a bit ridiculous that you want to get into a healthy sport and you get injured because you save my feet. I think, uh, yeah, you're just cheating yourself. Uh, it, it doesn't work this way. So that's where my feet come in. Um, is to make sure you enjoy the sport as long as you can.